goalkeeper, it's a very like pressurizing job. Uh, you you are alone here, and you can't let anyone dominate you. If someone gets into your head, then it's very difficult job for us. You are alone here, and you have to very like um, you have to have that guts to handle all the pressures. And I think sometimes you need to show your aggression also. Like, <clears throat> if you're aggressive, I think if that makes you better goalkeeper. Then I think it's good for you. And I think for me, you know, I'm not that aggressive but, uh, when it comes to like dealing with things. I'm like, aggressive. I feel sorry because uh, this is my first follow. And this season, like I've been performing well in the top, so. Because of that, I think I got an opportunity. And, uh, it's everyone's dream to be part of national setup. And it's my dream too. Coming from a very uh, small town, it's a dream come true for me and for my family as well. Yeah, my journey has till now it has been amazing because I started from a very small town in North Sikkim, and from there I played. Uh, Chilong Nalzong, I was there in India and in I played I lived with them. Then I went to Rail Kashmir and played there I lived for season. And I joined the CDFC. And since four years I'm here with them. And now I'm the national care. It's a very uh, big step for me. And I think this first step. So I'll give my best and try to prove to people that I can be part of this set of the I grew up playing cricket, uh, but I saw in North East uh, there was no future for cricket at that time because we didn't used to play football that much. So, Sikkim, it, it was a football loving state, but in my village there was no. But I, uh, I uh, as soon as possible, I got to know that there's chance in football. I got into football and started my journey. Uh, in my family, like I have my mother, my brother, and my sister. My brother has been inspiring to me because he used to play football in his school days. He represented the state, he played Sukhoto Cup, he played like uh, uh, national, like some of the So, yeah, uh, he has been inspiration to me. Uh, and my people also because I want to inspire my people in my, back in my village because I, uh, we have a small group of people in my village. And as far as possible, I want to inspire the kids from here. I was very lucky that, uh, that uh, I got spotted uh, like very like uh, in early playing days of my career. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, because like you saw some like good things in me as well. Like at that time, my kicking was not that bad, and my physical structure was good, which is hardly you find in Northeast. So I think that was a main factor that we. Like, Choose me to be part of the show at the beginning. Yeah, that was a uh, uh, decent part that he chose me to be part of show because I think in northeast there is like physical problem like we don't get tall goalkeepers. My mother wanted me to like go on with my studies. And at that time there was not much awareness about sports in my village. There was no one used to play. Like, I'm the only one who's playing like any decent level of sports like football, whether it's football, cricket or any other sport. So yeah, it was very uh, surprising for my mother. Now she's happy because like, <laughs> I've been doing decent in my life. So yeah, now he's, she's happy and proud. But uh, in my early days, like my brother and my sister, they knew about football and yeah, they were very supportive and very proud of what I've achieved you know. I feel very grateful at first because like coming from a very small village, I've reached where I am today. Secondly, I've learned a lot of things in my life coming from my here. There's a village, the town and I've been every part of India now. In every part of India I go to long to few things like from Shillong to Rio Kashmir and Mumbai. I've learned a lot of things in life. How not to give up in life. Keep on putting efforts, be grateful, keep on going, like all those things. And still, I'm learning, and I think uh, I'm young also, I need to learn more things. So, yeah, uh, 
journey, it's been very surreal and I'm very grateful for the journey I'm having right now and it still goes on.